Killer7 is on PC now, and it's good. It's real good. So, Suda announced a few months back that this game was coming to PC and people were happy, but they were questioning, how much effort is going to go into this? Is this just going to be an ISO being played in Dolphin, but like wrapped up in a professional package? And no one knew anything about it, aside from its trailer. Uh, no release date was given. And then it just came out two days ago with no announcement or advertising or anything. It just appeared on Steam and you can buy it now. I don't know. I don't know either. It's weird. Why did they, why did no one advertise it? I don't know. It's very strange, but it's out now. And, uh, we're going to be playing this, playing the first level, seeing how it turned out. And I'll just mention a few technical things. Uh, one is that the game can be played at multiple resolutions. Uh, I tried it 4K. It worked great. No problems. And it runs at multiple frame rates. The original GameCube game ran at 30. I'm running it at 60 right now. I've read that if you have monitors that support over 60, it will run at whatever frame rate you have. So we're going to be seeing the game at 60. This video, uh, I'm recording it at 1080p not 4K, even though the LP was in 4K. And the reason for that is because while the game ran at 4K 60fps on my PC, no problem, uh, actually recording it at 60fps was a problem, as the 4K recording uh, did not have a smooth frame rate. So, I bumped the resolution down to 1080p because I felt it was more important that we see that buttery smooth 60fps, which this game was not available in before. So... We're going to play the first level. We're going to see how this turned out, and we're going to be pointing out the uh, you know the differences in this PC port from the original along the way. <laughs> oh, you might notice that the language is in Japanese. Uh, you can choose it to be in English, of course, but I chose the Japanese option for a specific reason, which we're going to see in a few minutes. Something else to point out, this game has mouse controls, so you can aim the gun with the mouse, which is what, that was the number one thing I was hoping for from the PC port, that you would be able to do this, and you can. So now it's just very easy to aim it, like, just a trivial thing to aim it like his pinky. There you go. So, new aiming controls with the mouse. You, of course, can also play with the controller, uh, as you were able to before, but I'm playing with keyboard and mouse here. Shit on. That's where they all hang out. Our information tells us that there's 14 of them. And they're all fun. Nah, I keep one alive so we can ask who their boss is. Anything else I should know? Nah, not really. You'll know when you see them, they're, uh, different. Will do. And may the Lord smile. And the devil have mercy.
Do you require in the operation? Did you hear that? In Wazaru's voice. If you set the language to Japanese, they have the Japanese voices. I really did not expect that to happen. You might have also noticed uh, Japanese subtitles over the English because the English voices are the original. Uh, something I should point out, you do not get English subtitles if you set the language to English. Which seems like something they could add that wasn't in the it wasn't in the original game so it's not here but they probably should add that you might also notice that the game is formatted for widescreen uh on dolphin it is possible to play it in widescreen but if you do you get some sort of graphic glitches on the sides where the game did not intend for you to see what was on the left and right sides of the screen because it was going to be formatted to four by three that's fixed for this version. You can play the game in 4x3. You can set it to that, but this is set to 16x9. You don't want to go any further. It's dangerous. My friends are all dead. They were all murdered by people that look like this. I have been chosen. Oh, shit. There's more than 14. Those bastards are breeding. All right, let's get down to it. Controls, press spacebar to aim. And aiming is so nice now. Look at this mouse aiming. It's so, it's so much better than the controller. I mean, I know that the game was tuned to work with the GameCube controller, but the aiming was always extremely sensitive, and now this is just very much... Uh, it's a huge improvement. It's, it makes it a completely different game, honestly. Okay, uh, what something else I should mention... Previously, oh, that mouse cursor on the screen, like that, you'll see that because I'm using mouse controls. That's not a that's not a, a bug or an error. You'll see a mouse cursor on there. I'll try to keep it out of the way. There were some things in the original version of the game that you had to go to the sub-menu to do, like change smiths. Not anymore. On the keyboard controls, changing smiths are mapped to the number buttons 1 through 6. So we can just change like this. It's very convenient. All right. Um, you know, the conversations can be lengthy, but these are the Japanese voices and we haven't heard them before. The master, it is dangerous. It is serious and it is dangerous. It is doing seriously, being onerous. The master went up the master. When all the wars and it was unschooled. It will be the insane ones are up. It just can't be of a guide at the end of this. When advancing towards the right, it is the room of the master. The tribe is waiting for the end of the front door. It is killing fitting the beginning. The way Man, he's speaking English, but I can barely understand what he's saying. I know that um, in the name of Harmon is actually under Harmon's name. That's what he says at the end of that. All right, time to try out our aiming. Oh, blew his old arm off. Well, that was no problem. It is dangerous, dangerous. This place is my proposal. It is made to retrace this place. The end of this is the haunt of the tribe. Oh, fearful. It is subject to a shocking surprise at the body. It is subject to a shocking surprise and it rushes. 
before exploding, exterminate. The wirelesses are under Herman's name. That <laughs> just makes no sense at all. Uh, so one, one thing I should mention is that there's not much texture work in this game. Dan is correct. This is too easy. There's not much texture work in the game, um, but what little there is, they've left untouched. Except for one thing, that those being Travis's shirts, they did they they retyped his shirt logos in HD. Exactly, yes, exactly. Uh, and his new HD shirt logos are in the game directory, uncompressed. You know, they're not encrypted. You can just, you could edit them if you wanted to. So that's, I, I like that little touch. It's stupid. Like, that's the thing they're going to improve is his shirt logos. But I like that little touch right, right there. The master, it is very dangerous. This is a dangerous fellow. However, be relieved. It is my guarantor that that the master searches. That bullet is a big favorite and does. Because that is the last article of the master. It is desperately made to search by the manservant. The name is the bullet of the soul. The soul bullet. The way this is. Under Herman's name. You know, I think they could have left those voices untouched and you would not have been able to understand what they're saying. They could just subtitle the English with anything they wanted and you can't really tell what it is. It's, it's not understandable. Also, Kikazaru here. Do you ever notice he's naked? I don't think I ever noticed that. But hes I don't think he's wearing clothes. He's like wearing a mask and that the rest of his body is gray. I think he's just naked. Anyway, here we are in the parking lot. Here's a camellia smile. <laughs> Did not hit that weak point. You know, it's still hard to hit the weak point on the camellias, I find. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, when you decide where you want to go, this is kind of a weird thing. I can't use the keyboard to select my direction. I use the mouse cursor to point and click. It works well. I don't know why that's the way this works, though. I think I would. I think I would prefer it if you could just use the WASD keys to do that. Uh, but it seems like you can't. This works well enough, but I just don't know why it has to be that way. Man, I could understand Mr. Smith and Heaven Smile out of all that. I'm not understanding anything else. Oh, and actually, when we talk to, uh, talk to Oazaru here... The Master. It is very dangerous. It is dangerous killing or injuring power. The Union has went brutal. It is used knowing the R button at the Tyrant. Press the Y button three times. When the blood collects at the test tube, the brutal bullet fires. It is the power of the devil just like. 
Of course, it is impossible to fire when the blood is inadequate. The wayward misses under Herman's name. Yeah, he says tap the Y button three times, which are the GameCube controls. Obviously, I'm using a mouse and keyboard. If you were using a controller, I don't know if it would have been the Y button that you press. Like, the Xbox controller would be the standard one. I wonder if it's the Y button on that. <laughs> the Master. It is very dangerous. It is very, very dangerous. A life is prized. They are earnest. They are called have and smile. However, if it often sees, it will not laugh at their eye. The waywardness is under Herman's name. It nothing, nothing. I'm getting nothing out of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> just missed every one. Did not get my corn pops. <laughs> Hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> Hurts, doesn't it? So you might notice that the 2D elements have been spaced for the 16 by 9 screen. Like, there's a lot of empty space on the right here when that obviously would not be shown on a 4x3 screen. And the, the, the health logo, health eyeball, in the upper left is not stretched out or anything. It's being shown properly. <laughs> you know, as, as I'm playing this, a thing that I'm wondering... Let me just take out this guy, which is, again, very easy. The thing that I'm wondering is... This game is now extremely easy <laughs> because of these controls. And this game would have been tuned for a GameCube controller. And you can still play it with a controller, of course. But even back when this game was new, people didn't like the aiming controls because it's just way too sensitive. Actually trying to do any kind of fine aiming is very difficult. It's difficult to aim. You get used to it, but... It's still pretty difficult to, to aim cor in a in a f accurate manner. Really, the best way to aim when you're playing the game is to just aim at a spot and wait for the enemy's weak spot... Whoops. ...to move... ...into where you're aiming. Which is how I usually play it. But this is now much easier to play. And it kind of reminds me of back when Resident Evil came out on the Wii. Sorry, Resident Evil 4 came out on the Wii. And it had pointer controls, which made the game much easier than it was originally. Now here's Yoon Hyun, our old friend. Uh, first, let's take out this guy. Let's hear Yoon's voice. And it's kind of, kind of low. It's hard to hear him. Like there's some sort of like we can hear the air conditioning. And it's kind of drowning his voice out. Uh, we'll go on. We'll move on. And in RE4 on the Wii, so it had those, mo those pointer controls, and it made headshots trivial. Suddenly, all the 
I cannot skip Billy's cutscenes even on the PC version. Like, this is the only character for whom you can't actually skip his cutscenes uh, back on the original as well. And you still can't now. I don't know what it is about Billy Bloody Sunday, but he captures your attention, I guess. And on RE4, the controls just made things way more accurate, way, way easier. And something that some people asked was, well, the game was tuned for the GameCube controller, and now it's actually way too easy because these controls are not what the game was made for. Uh, should you just use the GameCube controller? Because that was what you're suppo- that's what the game was intended to be played with. The difficulty was tuned for the player to be using that GameCube controller. And I played, uh, recently I played RE4 on the PC, and it was very easy because I was using the mouse, and I had a great time doing that, but it was definitely the case when playing that game. It was clear to me, oh, this is not the control scheme that this game was made for. They did not intend for the player to be able to be this accurate. And it was, like I said, trivial. And playing this, it kind of reminds me of the same thing. That, man, this game is so easy now. They did not, they absolutely never intended for the player to be able to aim so accurately in this. And there are, there are harder difficulties, certainly. So you can play it on harder difficulties. But, uh... Just, that just made me think about that. About how... The game is so much more playable now, and it's clear that this was n it was never intended to be this playable. I like I mean I like it certainly. Don't get me wrong. Completion? Yes. Oh, let's hear Susie's voice. Hello you, Mr. Smith. Does it seem to be cloudy today? It's really too bad. It never to be a good lie day. As for such days, a dry or large place and that just part. But, it is my favorite year. Nobody is asked. You want to know why? It will understand, if it sees the hold up in the house. This is your thing left behind. Sure, I'll take that ring. It will come back, if there's a sins. Although it is droplets only, in spite of killer. If you notice, there's that one kanji that's flashing red and has spikes coming out of it. I believe that's the kanji for kill. I think that's what that is. Uh, let me change the camera, yeah, so we get behind us. In the English version, kill, killer, or anything like that did not have special subtitles. <laughs> and of course, to get through this door, we're going to need the man who can unlock any lock in the world. Just as long as it's a big padlock. Any other lock he, can, he cannot unlock. Big padlocks, though, are his specialty. <laughs> Fucked. All right, let's um, let's put our ring on. The oh, I don't know. They had different names in Japan. Heat ring. That is what our. That is what the fire ring is. I guess. I'm curious what the rest of them are called. And of course, a very difficult puzzle awaits us. Light the candles, but what order do we light them in? It's hard to say. This engraving, it's so odd. Oh, actually, I think the odd engravings are also in higher resolution as well. <laughs> You're fucked. Uh, what about 
Hmm. What about that? Actually, let me... The carrier pigeon, is it any different? Or would this be in Japanese? Would we be able to understand it? Let's see what it says. Okay, yes, it is indeed in Japanese. We, of course, know about Johnny Gagnon, the man who is investigating the Smith Syndicate, and he just wants to get paid. He just wants Amir to pay him. Amir, send me my $100. He's not charging much. He never gets paid. You're fucked. You're fucked. It's so easy. <laughs> Okay, so you remember how this puzzle goes. We have the fire ring, which means we can make the sprinkler goes go, and that will fill the toilet, so now we can flush the toilet, as, you know, that's how, what you have to do. Completion? Yes. <laughs> toilet flushed. And that flushes out the odd engraving, which is needed to move the bookshelf in the library. You remember, you remember how this goes. <laughs> You're fucked. You're fucked. Let me shoot the mask and let's see. I don't know if his Japanese voice is any different. Let's hear if it is. I don't think it is. It's quite quiet, though. They probably should adjust that volume. There are, I know, as, as I've been playing through it so far, I've played up through Cloud Man. I have noticed a little bits here and there where, like, some of the volume levels on the voices should probably be adjusted. Like, in the scene before you fight Julia, her voice sounds kind of quiet. Nothing big, but there are like little, little things here and there like that, but not many. Over here. Again, well, I don't need to tell you. You probably watched the LP. I don't need to tell you whose show it is when a crack appears. There's only one man who can handle this. That's still a cool reloading animation. Got my corn pops. You know, you can't you can't really see what that says. And there are a few times when you can't really tell what Travis's shirts say say, but if you open up that uh that one folder I mentioned in the game folder, you can see all of the textures for a shirt, so you can read all of them. They're right there. It's very convenient. That's a nice thing. Uh the carrier pigeon would be down there, but we don't need that. Might as well change to someone more speedy. Oh, a little, another little minor change. Let's use Khan Super Speed. Dangerous. His animation is a little different. In the GameCube version, like his arms and legs were moving really fast, like he was going really fast. But here, it's just kind of slow down for some reason. His movement speed is fast, but his animation speed is not. I don't know why that is. Get 
Unfortunately, there is no helping her. Also, the uh, deluxe version of the game on Steam. It comes with a remastered soundtrack, so that's good. It also comes with um, a PDF described as an art book and has like some images and some artwork. It is not, however, it is not Hand and Killer 7. I just wanted to mention that. Hurts, doesn't it? Hurts, doesn't it? I was a little bit disappointed at that. I was kind of hoping when I saw that that they just scanned Hand and Killer 7 and made that available. Um, but unfortunately, it is not. I'm a ghost. We don't need to go through there. <laughs> I think that's on his other leg. Oh no, it was on that one. Don't need to drain the blood from the wall. We already know what it is. And might as well check out Harmon's room. Here it is. It's what, you know, it's what you remember. Go to the TV. We can drop our blood off in the blood room. Also gonna tap the space bar to make it drain faster. I don't think I did that in the LP. I think I forgot that you could tap the button faster to make the blood transfer faster. I don't think there's any reason to do it. It's just like a thing that they let you do. I guess to occupy your time while it's draining. Don't make me say it again. Wait here. I've changed my makeup. What did you say? Later. Destiny. Yep, it's all there. All right, time for an extremely insecure lock. It's a two-digit two-digit lock. What could it be? Well, maybe it's a bad idea to make the two digit to do the two character combination an actual word. Completion? Yeah. Probably would just want to have two random letters, I would think. Trav is feeling sexual. You know, I haven't actually gotten hurt yet, but I should also mention that you no longer have to go into the subscreen to heal yourself with blood. You, there's a hotkey for that. So again, that's another like l nice little convenient thing. And the game, as we saw in the LP, just looks it looks so good in HD. He was a little bit more understandable. I, I understood that he said, please go on in, and we're going to go into that room, so uh, I guess we should switch to Kevin. No, actually, that's just not Kevin. That is Kevin. Because, of course, there is a thing that we need to do when we go in there. Because no one can party like Kevin in the rave room.
Here's Billy, here to tell us about the Speed Smile, our first boss. I should also mention that the fonts uh, have been redone for HD. It's also the case with the English font. This one right here, I don't think is. That looks like the original, the, hall the thing that says hallway. But the subtitle fonts in English are also redone. Here's a sweet smile. He's not actually fast. He just kind of walks towards us kind of slow. I guess he's called Speed Smile. Oh. Okay, he's dead already. I guess he's called Speed Smile because he, like, bobs and weaves. And since his weak point is in his mouth, it makes it difficult to hit the weak point. However, I just I just hit it there, so no problem. Oh, I should also mention, uh, well, I said before, that if you wanted, since Travis's uh, shirt textures are unencrypted and just sitting in the game folder, you could edit them if you wanted. So I did do uh, a little editing. Now, you can't change the color of his entire tank top. So I would not be able to make a pink tank top, you see. You can change the, uh, the text that is on the tank top, is the thing. Please. Be careful, sir. I'm the mother of this sacred place. Our four children served their purpose. They didn't die in vain. But our other nine children were killed by you. What do you want from us? Is it so bad that we have a purpose in life? We are only serving our gods. At heaven's command, we will kill the unwanted. We must get rid of bad trees from their roots. I hope you are not one of them. Good night, child. It's past your bedtime. A side effect of the game being in 16 by 9 is that some of the cutscenes uh, have had their framing changed. When this was in 4 by 3, you only saw half of Harmon's face on the side of the screen during that cutscene. Now that's in 16 by 9, you can see his entire face. Which, I mean, I preferred the how you could only could see half of his face originally. So. Framing like that can be altered due to the widescreen. You think you killed me? Better think again. <laughs> but like I said, you can play it in 4x3. That mode is still here.
Oh man, that boss was so easy. Just kind of ridiculously easy now. <laughs> My trick didn't work on you. Tricks are for kids, Coon. I'm an old man. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing has changed for 30 years. No matter how many times you try, the result will be the same. Ah, uh, yes. Like our chess games, you always seem to win. Do you know why? You tell me. Because you're a bad player. <laughs> a new generation of children will bring order to this age. You're a good friend. But unfortunately, our interest is not mutual. We both have become burdened with so much and we don't have time for fun anymore. No, <laughs> there's always time for fun. It's Friday night. Let's dance. to the size where you can control it with your hands, just like a PDA. The world will keep getting smaller. <laughs> That text is different in Japanese as well. Well, that'll be no enough of our, our look at, at Killer7 for the PC, just released. Oh, hold on. Which, uh, which memory card slot do you want to save to? You know, which of the two memory card slots on your PC uh, do you want to save the game to? Well, I don't know if I have memory card slots on my PC, but I can save them. I guess hold over from the GameCube. All right, so. Um, oh, and that's a different name as well. Instead of Sunset in English, it's now Setting Sun in Japanese. Well, that's our look at Killer7 for the PC. I am very happy with this port. I really didn't know what to expect, um what this was end up going to end up being it really wasn't much of an indication when the trailer came out there was an indication that it was just an iso being played in dolphin because i think there was a frame rate counter on the screen from dolphin um so people were you know maybe didn't have their hopes up but this came out really well uh, like i said you can play the game in multiple resolutions either in four by three or in 16 by nine uh multiple frame rates uh so it's no longer locked to 30 um, the keyboard and mouse controls are great. Aiming with the mouse is great. I like the hotkey support that they added for things like changing the smiths. Um, 
I, w- I would like it if, like I said, you could control which direction you're going with the WASD keys instead of using the mouse to click on that, but that is a minor thing. Um, I do think that there is some volume balancing that they could do with a few scenes. Um, other than that, you know, everything about this seems wonderful. Oh, the animated cutscenes, they do display 16x9 uh, across the full screen. However, they are the same resolution as they were originally. Uh, I, it would have been too much to hope that maybe Capcom or Grasshopper had HD versions of the animated cutscenes uh, on their hard drive somewhere. I guess not, because we've got the original resolution for those. And I mean the animated cutscenes for like... um. In Cloud Man, you know, those things. Not the real-time engine cutscenes, but the uh, the animations. But those display fine, even though they are in their original resolutions. Uh, so everything I've seen about this has been... I've really enjoyed. Um, I'm really happy with how this turned out. And also, I had no idea about the Japanese thing. Uh, you know, I was about to record this video, and then I thought, wait, what happens if I turn the language to Japanese? Does it just show Japanese subtitles, or does it become the Japanese version of the game? And it turned out it becomes the entire Japanese version of the game, with the Japanese voices and the Japanese uh, text, like, calling this setting sun instead of sunset. So, I'm very happy about that. I'll probably, you know, I, I'm... Because, of course, I never played the Japanese version before. Uh, so now that is available here on the PC on Steam. I don't know if there's any plans to bring these to consoles. I would assume it has to do with how well or how poorly, uh, the PC version sells. Um, but I am, as far as this PC version goes, I'm very happy with how this turned out. I don't know why it was released without any announcements or advertising or anything. Someone should probably, like, mention that this is out now? I don't know, someone who owns this game might want to say something, because it's good. It's really good. Uh, so that has been our look at Killer7 on the PC. You can get it now, even though no one seems to be saying that. It's available. But, you know, just if you like, if you want to play Killer7, please play it. Or if you already have played Killer7, here is a fantastic version to play again. I just hope people buy this. It would be nice if Killer7 was a success. Even because it really wasn't the first time round. It would be nice if there was a bit more success for it this time round. Well, that's been our look at Killer7 on the PC.